I've been head of maths since 2016. We have excellent uh, team who are outstanding teachers. Uh, first of all, it's the most uh, commonly asked questions during open evenings and open mornings. Usually students come in in summer term, uh, before, this, before, before September, they will sit their cats uh, and they will have done their SATs as well in primary schools, so we'll have that information and I'll use that to create pre uh, preliminary sets in maths and once they join us in September they will all sit something called baseline test which are made up all the topics they have covered in primary school. Once we have all the data then we use that to create new sets and obviously what we do is that we review those sets throughout the whole year. Yes, they can. Obviously, this is something we constantly keep an eye on. We review it based on their attitude, classwork, homework, and their tracking test as well. Uh, so somebody, some somebody is put in set two, they can move to set one and vice versa as well. This is something we do once in a, once in a whole term. Uh, so again, all of that is based on what they do in the lessons and the homework as well. Maths is set, so higher sets tend to be larger uh, in group. Uh, so, for example, set one and set two will be 30, sometimes 32 students, but as we go down, uh, the math sets tend to go uh, lower as well in size. For example, set four or five will be maximum of 12 to 15 students, not more than that, because they will need more one to one support and help in lesson time. We've got something called a uh, top, 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 top set. If your child is exceptionally bright in maths, this is something we have uh, designed for those students to be put in top, top set. If they can't be put in top, top set, we will have obviously set one and set two students as well. And this is where they are going to be stretched and challenged uh, by different teachers. Naturally, not everyone uh, has the equal ability in maths. There will be people who will struggle in maths. They will need extra help and support. So we've got something called, obviously, intervention plan, which lasts for six weeks. So we always review students' progress and design or run those intervention programs throughout the whole year for all students from year seven to year 11. Um, yes, we offer TCSE statistics as well. We've got three groups in year nine, 10 and 11. So first of all, to study A-level uh, and further maths at uh, A-level, they need to get a minimum grade 7 and 8 respectively. Uh, so obviously, once they are studying A-level maths and further maths along with their sciences, they increase their chances of going to uh, or attending a very good university like one of the Uxbridge universities uh, or, or study maths or pure maths or maths related degrees at one of the top universities uh, in, in the country. Uh, finally, what exactly is it that we are proud of? I mentioned something called earlier, uh, uh, something called Top Top Set. So that is a very special special program uh, that no other school in our local area will be offering it. So we select 15 to 20 students who are who have e similar ability in maths, who are enthusiastic or love maths or want to do really well in maths. We put them in one group and they are taught by uh, very experienced and specialist maths teachers who are stretched and uh, challenged uh, using different schemes of work, different, dif uh, using different resources. As a result of that, what we have now, we've got top top set in year 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Hopefully, I've covered everything what it was in your mind, but if there is anything that you feel that hasn't been covered, please feel free to email me and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much.